The fine should be, instead of financial, because most people on Twitter are just bored people who don't earn a lot of money, you should be, if you do a bad tweet, you, you lose characters. So, like, speeding, but you just... You can only do 135 now. <laughs> and then if you're really bad, right, you can't use the letter E on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> to, uh, Sally Burko tweeted, Why is Lord McAlpine trending? Innocent face. <laughs> yeah, the good news about it all is that Sally Burko has been forced to close her Twitter account. Yeah. Which is the only good thing. I would have had her close it ages ago for doing that stupid thing where you put an asterisk and then something you're doing, and then that really pisses me off. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely starting the diet today. Asterisk goes for some cake. Asterisk. Oh. <laughs> off. Hang on, Grandad looks upset. Sean, what? <laughs> well, I just don't know how you can be annoyed by her tweet. What are you reading them for in the first place? Mm. <laughs> to get annoyed. Yeah. <laughs> what else am I going to do with my day? I was over the moon when I found out I could sue people on Twitter. Things I get called. Yesterday, someone called me the most gormless man on the planet. <laughs> That's got to be worth a tenner. He can't have chicken. <laughs> He can't have checked with everyone. <laughs> I've only ever done one tweet. Did one tweet, and it, I've got 36,000 followers, which, if you worked it out on a follower per tweet ratio, <laughs> I'm the most successful person ever on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> what did you tweet? I tweeted, due to a series of imposters, I have been forced to set up a Twitter account. Now go f yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love it if you got into Twitter. I'd really... Do, there's times I think about you in the week, and I just think... <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know what you do. I just... There's times what I think... What do I do? I'd love to know Not what Sean's doing. <laughs> <laughs> I sit in a tree and spit at pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think I do, John? I literally... That's one of the things. I just have no idea. I just... I can't imagine you eating food. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I can't imagine Dracula. you going for a run. Or watching TV. I just imagine you in a dark room, sort of softly lit, just your face staring at yourself in a mirror. <laughs> Rowling. I, I do stare at stuff, yeah. 28% <laughs> of people think the government is hiding evidence of aliens. You shouldn't even be saying that. <laughs> For Christ's sake, Jimmy, that stuff should be kept under wraps. <laughs> Listen, the truth is out there. Doof, doof, doof. <laughs> Man, you can't put that sh out there and blow their f minds. <laughs> yeah. Oh, They're no. not ready for it, Jimmy. I can't believe you said it. <laughs> well, for now, OK, remember, if I, if I get assassinated... 28% <laughs> of people think the government is hiding evidence of aliens, true or false. What do you think, John? I've been seeing it. I've been seeing it for ten damn years, ain't I been seeing it? <laughs> Finally, an accent that goes with that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I think if anyone is throwing insults about clothes, it shouldn't be you tonight. <laughs> Why are you wearing that? Cos I thought we weren't allowed to talk about it. Cos you know sometimes when someone's a bit weird, you can talk about it. And then when something's so weird, everyone yeah. goes, is he all right? Thought <laughs> <laughs> wear a waistcoat. What's the matter with that? It's nice. It just looks ridiculous. <laughs> Tom, back to aliens. Do you believe in aliens, Billy? I don't. And anyone who does is a knobhead. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, know, do you know something I found out? That you know, when you buy ham in a supermarket, in a packet, there's cameras in there. <laughs> you, look at how, you look at how, oh, what's the sell by date on that? There's somebody watching you mm. in like a government office somewhere. <laughs> they're all just shocked. We're, we're, they're all going, going they're all going, why isn't this on the news? Because <laughs> they won't let it out there. So <laughs> that's, what, that's the sign of games they're playing with us. <laughs> Once you know that, the aliens thing doesn't seem so weird then. No. <laughs> We've got a, apparently, we've got a sound problem. Hang on one sec. What's the sound problem? We got well, one obviously, one that's, they're trying to shut us down, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not fucking shaking me! <laughs> <laughs> Whose mic is it? It's, it's Sean's mic. Sean's mic. You're just sorting it? Yeah. <laughs> 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 if this isn't proof of what I've been saying... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's shut Sean up. <laughs> 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 most people think their life would make a good musical. True or false? Oh, I think most people's lives probably would make a good musical. No, they wouldn't. Most people's lives... Most people's <laughs> lives are boring as s***. <laughs> <up. Yeah. laughs> 
They're not, though. They're not. Maybe. Maybe the individual, but families are always really interesting. There's always skeletons and scandals, and every family's got that, right? Yeah, true. Uh, fa favourite musical? Sean? I don't really like musicals, to be honest. Do you like anything? I do. I like loads of things. <laughs> Love rice. <laughs> <laughs> I like books. I like music. What music do you like? Well, all the good stuff. <laughs> what genre? All the good genres. <laughs> do you like rock music? I like rock music, yes. OK, well, I would like to invite you to come and see Jesus Christ Superstar next year. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Worst thing about doing DIY? The only tool I've got is a hammer. I do all the jobs with it. All the jobs? Yeah, if I'm sanding a window with a hammer. <laughs> So, you know, painting the skirting board, hammer. <laughs> Changing a fuse yeah. in the plug. Hammer, yeah. My house is in ribbons. <laughs> <laughs> Power tools really mean you can screw up big fast. Like, with a little <laughs> screwdriver, you're not really going to do much damage. You go, oh, but with, like, a power drill, you go... <laughs> <laughs> wow. 30 seconds and I have ruined that whole wall. <laughs> Nail guns are fun. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> do you, do you, have you done any DIY? Would you ever do any? Uh, no, get a man in. That's my answer to that. <laughs> See, I find a bit of DIY quite therapeutic. I enjoy it. What I mean, was the last bit of DIY? Home you improvement. Did? I enjoy the aesthetics. You know, but do you I, mean I buying enjoy... cushions? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not DIY. <laughs> <laughs> buying cushions. <laughs> it's improving yeah. the home. Yeah, I bought some cushions. <laughs> oh, exhausted. <laughs> I like it personally. I don't see the problem. What was the last thing you built? What was the last thing you... Uh, it was a, a white unit from Ikea. And, uh, That's not uh, do it yourself. Yeah, but you drink your way... Drink through it. That's the thing that I don't understand. <laughs> why, do, why isn't everybody drunk making things? <laughs> the worst thing about Ikea is you're not allowed to punch people in the back of the head. <laughs> <laughs> why do they walk so slow? Get through! <laughs> I, don't, I don't call it Ikea. I call it Ikea! <laughs> And they say, can you keep it down? I say, look how big you've written it. <laughs> <laughs> you write it that big. <laughs> that big, I say. <laughs> IKEA! <laughs> OK, so, um, a bad workman would blame this. Tools. What about them? Lack of the right tools. There you go, that's the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting the point. <laughs> yes, the worst thing about doing DIY is not having the right tools. If you're doing DIY, there's one tool you definitely don't need. Nick Knowles. <laughs> I remember as a young lad my dad showing me how to use a hammer, but even then it seemed like a messy way to kill a guinea pig. 